Well, whatever I'm trying here right now, it's not working. It's not let me rename it here. So let's just rename it here. That's fine. So let me come back here and put it main main window. Uh, okay, you know renamed here. That that was interesting. Okay, that was that was what I was expecting before. So now I have that and. So what actually happened here is when I created the WPF application, it created for me not only this, which is uh, just a window frame that I'm going to do whatever I wanted to, but it also created me a, a, a CS uh, extension file, which is a C-sharp program, which is right here. It's just a class. And it's called a partial class. Um, as we see, it is inheriting from window. Um, that's what it means. That's how you you inherit in C sharp this this two signs here. And that that is also like if if you want to know more about C sharp and and how that works, the partial classes, and a basic tutorial on that, just go back to my blog and, and see the beginner's part for C sharp. Um, Another thing that was created here is, as you see, is the app.zem. What that actually is, let's come here. Oh, here this one. This is actually telling me where uh, this is. It's it's like my main function or or the main uh, part of the, the program because this is where it's going to be calling the program. It's because it's calling the window one dot zem. Um, which is this guy here that we changed the name, but right here, if we see, actually right now, if we try to run it, you won't work it because of this. This is where it's looking for. It's looking for this guy, he main window, but right there is saying, uh, let me go back there. Window one dot Zen. So let's try to run and see what's going to happen. It gave me an exception. The reason for that is because I cannot find that. So let me close that. So if I actually change that to main window, he also should be changed main window. And that's the thing, like since there was it wasn't a refactor that I did, then this wouldn't change by itself. So I have to change it manually. So if you change the main Zen application, make sure you would come back here to app.zen and change that to the same name. So let's put here main main window. Okay, now let's try and see if that's going to work or see if we have any other problem. Okay, you worked. We are all good to go. Let me close that. Don't need that. So it is actually running what I want to. Um, now, where I'm going to be dealing with is going to be here. Sometimes it's going to be saying that, like, whenever you leave from that page, from this uh, this part of the program, it's going to tell you, okay, I can't visualize that window. Press this here so I can uh, reload it. So just do that, and now there you go. I got it. Let me make some changes here. Uh, as we see here, window 1 right up here, I probably don't want that title right there not the way it is so I'm gonna change this right here um, and I'm gonna call that main window for lack of a better name so it can be whatever name you want to put there I'm just gonna call me main window right now so I can actually know where I'm at whenever I come here since I'm gonna have a bunch of those files in here sometime later so now I change the main window I have a 300 height um, 300 width. Let me change that. Let me put here 500. As we see, it, it became a little, uh, the width was a little larger. Uh, the height, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is right now. Uh, and I just now just need to start dealing with just whatever I want that to look like. How is my interface going to look like? 
Um, this one thing I want to show you here real quick also is when you click twice in a deter determined area of the of the figure, if that is an important area, for example, a button, we're going to be adding buttons in a little bit. Uh, right here, I'm just going to be, I want that to pop up, right, whenever I, I run the program. If I have like some content in this area, uh, and I, if I click here twice, it's going to create a window loaded function, which will be loading all the content in this area. Since this is my, just my initial uh, interface whenever the, the program is run, I personally will not put anything there, even though we can. We can put links, we can put maybe the, the database table, uh, not the table, the database grid right there and try to use that um, just to visualize whenever you open it first. I'm not gonna do that, but I just wanna show you what's gonna happen when I double click here. Look, I double click it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I double click it, but and it created for me a method right here in this main window, Zam, called window loaded. So whatever I wanted to be loaded in the window whenever the program is run, I'll I would have to put some code in here. For this one, we won't put anything. But for the other guys that we're going to have a data grid, we will. And you probably understand better. Um, another thing that happened here is when you double click there, this here loaded, window loaded, also popped up here. Okay. Uh, that's normal. Let's just keep it there. One thing that is, let's actually try one thing here. Let's say that um, you say, okay, I'm going to, I don't want this method since we're not going to need it. And then we delete it. If you run now, we're probably going to have an error. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, it says that we have an error. And the error that we have is that since I have this loaded window loaded here, I must have that method there. And that's how the program is uh, recognized that the method by looking at this here, in the, in the right in this area here. So if I run now again, it will probably be fine. Let's try that since I delete it. Okay, it worked fine. Um, but let's let's just leave that there in case you want to put there something there in the future. So I'm gonna just double click again. It created for me again, and here I am. It created for me as well. Now it's good to know like what things do we want in this interface. Um, as we can see here, we have a toolbox. I have a toolbox. Uh, if you have Visual Express, you won't have all this. So you probably have to download some of it. One of the things that will ask you to look and download is the WPF toolkit. That is actually really nice to have it. It doesn't come even in the Enterprise Edition of Visual Studio. So you have to download that and install in your Visual Studio in order to have that. Um, after you have that, we want to see what you want to do. And let's, that's the topic we're going to be discussing uh, next time how to create some menus, some buttons, how are we gonna be implementing that. And as, as we can see, whenever we create the button and we double click, click it, the system will be defining the functions for me. So I don't have to worry about that, but I'm gonna have to implement it sometime in the future. So yeah, we're gonna be talking a little bit about that. Okay, thanks, bye.